I'm going to show you how to make a stop block that does not need a T-track and this thing is super solid. It's not going to deflect on you when your boards are hitting it making those repeated cuts. Traditionally, most stop blocks out there require you to have a T-track embedded in your fence. This stop block requires no T-track and it's very simple to make. All you need is two 5 16 by 5 inch bolts, one 5 16 by 5 inch carriage bolt, a one, two, three block, a jig knob, and a scrap piece of wood. Let me show you how to make it. I'm using walnut here, a piece that's about an inch thick, and I'm just gonna take it to the table saw, set the fence exactly the same width as this one, two, three block, and then I'm gonna rip that piece down. Then from there, I'm just gonna take a bit that's 5 16 inch, drop it in each of these three holes and mark the spot that I need to drill. The middle hole will be a through hole. We're gonna drill all the way through, and then the two side holes, we wanna stop those about three quarters of the way through. Don't drill these all the way through. You can use a piece of painter's tape to mark your spot so you know exactly how deep you need to drill. Here's a power tip for you. I didn't know this until a few days ago. Some of you may have seen the video. Most people, when they chuck a drill bit in, they just hold it, squeeze the trigger until it gets tight and maybe wrench it up another notch. However, some drills like this Milwaukee, if you turn it counterclockwise, it actually locks it right there so your bits don't get loose like some do. On my rigid, don't do this, but this Milwaukee does. Next, I'm gonna move this over to the miter saw. I'm gonna measure this piece two inches and cut it off there. You can get away with a one inch version if you want, but I like the two. For a little extra grabbing power, if you'll sand or cut this at about a five degree angle taper toward the top, it'll actually make it grip just a little tighter. Not necessary, but it will help. Next, I'm gonna use a little CA glue and glue these bolts in the stopped holes so that uh, they're gonna be there for a very long time. I'm gonna use a miter appell. You can use whatever brand you like, Starbond, whatever. This is just like a medium thick clear. So now we got to cut these bolts so that they fit whatever fence you got. I've got two pieces of plywood here on my crosscut sled. We're going to cut these bolts off so that they're just inside this whenever it's all the way tightened down. So I'm going to make a mark and then we'll cut these. I attempted to use my isolating tool, but these blades got dull extremely fast. So I wound up just going to the old school route and cutting it off with a hacksaw. Once I got those cut, I did take a little bit of sandpaper and sand the edges of those just to take those sharp burrs off. Next time to install the carriage bolt, you're just gonna use a hammer or something to knock that in. Now you slide it onto your one, two, three block, you've got a stop block. Let me show you how it works. Now we've got our block. This thing is super simple. Now all you have to do is put it onto some type of fence. I'm using my cross cut sled here as an example. You put it down there and when you cinch it down, this thing's gonna be there. That five degree angle we put on there earlier helps pull that thing over a little bit, gives it a little more leverage, and that'll clamp it down really tight. The previous version I made didn't have that and it still clamped fine. This also works with the bow feather board knobs or 5 16 jig knob. Super simple to install. All you do is drop it on your fence and then tighten it down wherever you want it. And then you can make those repeated cuts over and over and over and over and over again. I like these knobs a little better. It gives you a little more grip, but these work good too. Just repeated cuts right there. Now, if you were going to use this on a fence, I would make my fence three inches tall. Otherwise, you're going to be able to go under it with three quarter inch stock. But I made this fence quite a bit taller because it has the T-track in it and then a stop block comes off of that. If you're not going to have a stop block, make your fence three inches. This will work perfect. You can use this on a single sheet of plywood too if, you're, if your fence is just a single piece. It also works at the router table. You can even put it on your workbench and use it there as a stop or at your miter station if you have a fence there. It's a multifunctional piece that you don't need T-Track for. That's the big thing with this. Very few parts and pieces, very inexpensive, easy to make. Go make one. If you like this video, you'll love the jig video I did on the table saw. Click that box right there. Click in the box, get you the big old virtual fist bump. Also, another one of my favorite videos right there.